Israel could face destruction in as little as 300 seconds. Recently, Iran has introduced its latest weapon, the FATA-2, which is specifically targeted at Israel. This hypersonic missile is designed to bypass any existing Israeli air defenses. But should Israel and the global community truly be alarmed after examining the missile's capabilities? Creating a dependable hypersonic missile is akin to discovering the holy grail in missile technology. The lethality of these missiles stems from their incredible speed. By definition, hypersonic speed is achieved when an object travels at least five times the speed of sound. Such rapid missiles are notoriously difficult to intercept because they evade radar detection. Fire control systems struggle to keep pace with the necessary calculations for a successful interception, leaving firing units with minimal response time. Due to these challenges, hypersonic missiles are often deemed exceedingly hard, if not impossible, to neutralize. Iran's announcement in November 2023 was a significant event. During that month, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps revealed a model of what they claimed to be the FATA-2 missile, touted as the fastest hypersonic missile ever developed. But what do we really know about it? Information about the FATA-2 is scarce. However, the Iranian authorities assert that it boasts a range of 1,500 kilometers and can reach speeds of up to Mach 15. This remarkable velocity is achieved through a two-stage system. Initially, a ballistic missile motor propels the missile to the upper reaches of the atmosphere. After this phase, the missile discards its motor and separates the re-entry vehicle, which houses the warhead. To generate the necessary thrust for its descent, a combination of hydrazine and other undisclosed chemicals is utilized. Hydrazine, a highly toxic substance commonly used as a spacecraft propellant, works in tandem with Earth's gravity to send the re-entry vehicle hurtling toward its target. Upon re-entering the atmosphere, the FATA-2 is said to feature a movable nozzle that enables it to alter its trajectory mid-flight. The mock-up of the FATA-2, revealed in November, is reportedly a significant advancement in Iranian missile technology. Just last June, Iran introduced the FATA-1 for the first time, and the FATA-2 aims to fulfill the promises made regarding enhancements over its predecessor. While the FATA-1 is classified as a hypersonic missile, it achieves speeds ranging from Mach 10 to 15. Its re-entry vehicle utilizes solid-state rocket fuel instead of the more hazardous hydrazine mixture. There is much debate about which missile is superior, with some theories proposing that the FATA-1 is mainly intended for high-dive attacks after leaving the atmosphere, while the FATA-2 is designed to operate at lower altitudes, evading Israeli air defense systems. Regardless of the specifics, if Iran genuinely possesses such a weapon, it could potentially shift the balance of power in the Middle East. How would this happen? Until the emergence of the FATA-2, Israel maintained a military monopoly in the region, boasting the most sophisticated cruise missiles, air defense systems, aircraft, and naval vessels, and is believed to be the only nuclear-armed nation there. Despite being outnumbered, Israel's military capabilities allow it to exert significant influence. In response to Israel's military dominance, its adversaries have attempted to undermine Israeli and American military presence through sheer numerical strength. Iran has established proxy forces across Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, the Gaza Strip, and Yemen. To shift the balance of power, Iran has invested significant resources, personnel, equipment, and funding into these groups, engaging in a strategy of ongoing low-intensity conflict. Despite this, the overwhelming military superiority of Israeli and American forces means these proxies are unlikely to succeed in direct confrontations with either nation. Nevertheless, Iranian military leaders persist in their efforts. They frequently coordinate attacks through these proxies and have equipped them with some of Iran's most sophisticated weaponry. 
For instance, the Houthis in Yemen have previously executed successful long-range missile and drone strikes against Saudi Arabia, and during the ongoing conflict in Gaza, they have launched multiple ballistic missiles at Israel. If the Fatah 2 missile lives up to its reputation, it is highly probable that Iran will share this technology with its proxy forces. This action would heighten the risks in the Middle East, as Iran asserts that these groups operate with considerable autonomy. Consequently, they could potentially launch missiles at Israeli or American military targets while maintaining plausible deniability. The challenge for Israel and the US would be determining accountability, as the missile may be fired by terrorists in Yemen, yet Iran could argue that these groups acted independently. The security landscape could deteriorate rapidly, granting terrorist organizations an unprecedented level of combat sophistication. In the event that Iran were to take such action, what measures could Israel implement for defense? Should Iran launch the Fatah 2 missile towards Israel, the most probable counteraction would involve an interception using an aero missile. The aero missile system was initially developed as a collaborative effort between Israel and the United States during the 1990s. Achieving its first operational capability in 2000, this missile series serves as a crucial component of Israel's air defense strategy. While the Aero-1 missile boasts a commendable range of approximately 150 kilometers, it has largely been replaced by the more advanced Aero-2 and Aero-3 models. The Aero-2, the second generation of this missile family, features a two-stage propellant booster that can reach speeds of up to an impressive Mach 9. Its primary destructive mechanism is a fragmentation warhead, which utilizes both active and infrared-seeking radar to hone in on its target within 50 meters before detonation. The Aero 3, essentially an enhanced version of the Aero 2, comes with a significant upgrade, a more robust propulsion system that extends its range to nearly 2,000 kilometers, surpassing the 500-kilometer reach of the Aero 2. The exact maximum altitude of the Aero 2 is not publicly disclosed, but it is known to reach heights of up to 50 kilometers. In contrast, the Aero 3 boasts a significantly greater range and is recognized as one of the few anti-satellite weapons currently operational worldwide. The primary distinction between the Aero 2 and Aero 3 lies in their kill vehicles. When the Aero 3 approaches its target, it deploys a kinetic kill vehicle designed to collide directly with the target, ensuring a direct impact. Regardless of whether Israel launches an Aero 2 or Aero 3 missile, both utilize a similar modular framework. The Aero battery consists of eight mobile containerized units, equipped with its own radars, fire control center, and battle management center, allowing for seamless integration with other air defense systems, such as the Patriot system. This capability suggests that if Iran were to launch the Fatah 2, it would likely face significant challenges. This raises the question, should Israel genuinely be concerned about the Fatah 2? Before exploring this issue, it's crucial to note that the model showcased by Iran was merely a mock-up. So far, there have been no verified sightings or launches of the Fatah 2 missile. Iran frequently makes exaggerated claims regarding its military capabilities. While the existence of the Fatah 1 missile has been confirmed, the actual effectiveness of its claimed capabilities remains questionable. Even if we take Iranian assertions at face value, Israel likely has little to fear based on real-world battlefield experiences. In the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, the Russian military has deployed the only confirmed hypersonic missiles ever used in combat, known as the KH-47 Kinsville. This missile boasts a claimed speed of approximately Mach 10 and a range of 1,500 kilometers. While this may sound intimidating, Ukraine has successfully intercepted at least 16 of these missiles using older, shorter-range systems like the Patriot and NASAMS. If Ukraine can take down hypersonic missiles with such technology, then the Fatah 2, assuming it even exists, 
would stand little chance against Israel's air defense systems. Until next time.